Okay, and welcome back. So I'm going to talk to you about the circle. So basically what you're doing is you're getting a cone and putting it on the table and making a plane parallel to the table and slicing the cone and that basically makes a circle. So, just want to show you that illustration. And now let me show you the formula. And here's an illustration of a circle. And here's its radius. And the center of the circle is HK and the point along the circle is XY and this is the point that travels around this path of the circle, it's XY. And really it's derived from the Pythagorean theorem and um, this is the standard form of the equation X minus H quantity squared plus Y minus K quantity squared is equal to R squared. And the center, like I said, is HK and the radius is R, okay? So, basically what's happening here is that the distance between the X and this H right here is this over here, right? And the distance between the Y and the K is this distance here. So to figure out what the radius is, all you're doing really is calculating the distance between H and this x, so x minus h, and the k and the y, so y minus k. And when you square this quantity and this quantity, it will give you this quantity squared. So that's why you have it in this form, x minus h quantity squared plus y minus k quantity squared is equal to r squared. Okay, so let's do an example here. Let's say, for instance, we were given this. We were given a center at the origin so that's basically equal to 0 comma 0 and we're given a radius of 4 so this is going to be our H and this is going to be our K and this is our R okay and what's happening here is they want us to put they want us to use this point the center and this r radius into this equation to construct an equation for a circle using this point and this radius so first start by writing the equation of the circle x minus h quantity squared plus y minus k quantity squared is equal to r squared then what you're going to do is you're going to plug in this 0 and this 0 into the H into the K. Okay, so I'll go ahead and put these in a different color here. So this will be 0, this will be 0, and this R will be 4. Okay, and now what we're going to do is bring everything else down. So X minus quantity squared plus Y minus quantity squared is equal to the radius squared. Okay, so x minus 0, and we'll just simplify this, so x minus 0 is just x quantity squared plus y minus 0, which is just y squared, is equal to, 4 squared is equal to 16. So this would be the equation to the circle using this point, using this center, and using this radius. Okay. So let's do another one. What if we're given a center of 8, negative 3 and a radius of root 6? Okay, so again, we'll set up our standard uh, form of the equation of a circle, x minus h quantity squared plus y minus k quantity squared is equal to r squared. And we'll put our arrows to show where we're going to replace variables with numbers. And in this case here, this is going to be our h, and this is going to be our k. So h is going to be 8, and k is going to be negative 3. And we just bring everything else down. So x minus plus y minus is equal to, and this is going to be root 6, 
okay so rad 6 squared okay so now we just simplify everything because here is going to be double negation so this is going to be positive so that turns into a positive and what we do is we bring down our x minus 8 quantity squared plus y plus 3 y plus 3 quantity squared is equal to rad 6 squared is going to just be 6 okay now let's say if we wanted to plot this how would this look well since our center is 8 in that case let me get a little xy coordinate system okay so that's going to be the point 8 negative 3 so 8 negative 3 and our radius is going to be root 6 so if you calculate that out that's going to be about it's going to be about 2.449 so rad 6 is about 2.449 so that's going to be 2.449 so let's just say it's about two and a half okay so what we're going to do is go to the left the up the right down two and a half places so one two and a half put a dot there we're going to go one two and a half put another dot here and we're going to go one two and a half put another dot here and we're going to go down one two and a half and put another dot right about here and we'll just go ahead and fill that in and we should get a circle okay and the radius you know is basically what determines the size of the circle okay so let's do uh, another problem here what if they gave us given center equal to how about negative rad 2 negative 1 and our radius is equal to 2 rad 3 okay so what's gonna happen is is this we're gonna set up our standard form of an equation of a circle x minus h quantity squared plus y minus k quantity squared is equal to r squared and we'll need something here here and here so we'll have x minus negative rad 2 so this is going to be our h and this is going to be our k okay and this is equal to our r so x minus h that's going to be negative rad 2 quantity squared plus y minus negative 1, so that's negative 1, quantity squared is equal to r squared, so 2 rad 3 quantity squared, and just go ahead and simplify, so double negation here, plus double negation here, plus, so we're going to get x plus rad 2 quantity squared plus y plus 1 quantity squared is equal to Okay, square the 2, you'll get a 4. Square the rad 3, you'll get 3. So 4 times 3 is 12. So r squared is going to be equal to 12. Okay? All right, let's do another one. 